30 years ago, I did a painting with an important message we should never forget. Something we should think about and carry with us in our daily lives. The painting is called Treasures of the Mind, and it shows two pirates with their treasure that they worked hard to get, rowing towards a little island where they're going to bury it in the sand to hopefully protect it. In their mind, they have what they think is the most important treasure, and that is a box of little shiny gold coins and jewels and things like that. And that's all they know. That's their treasure. Little do they know that just below them in the water is an entire lost civilization with more treasure than they could ever imagine. Treasures they have never even dreamt of. And that's the important message. And I wrote about it in my book, Instructions for a New Life. You can only want what you know exists. How can you want something if you don't even know it exists, if you don't even know about it? People spend so much time, most of their lives, going after things that they were programmed for because that's what they were told. But what you know about or what you were told might not necessarily be the best thing for you. For example, how much time and energy have you spent going after that perfect mate, that dream partner, or a car, or a house, or a job, or something that you feel, I want the 2019 thingamajig whiz bang because that's the advertisements I've been seeing. Yeah, that's it. That's what I want. And then you spend all this time and money and energy going after it, or this person, or this job, or this house or car. And then when you get it, you realize that person's messed up. They have control issues. They have addictions. They have some kind of problem. That car has issues that you don't like. The house is a money pit or whatever. There's so many things that you wish you would have known. And then, after you get it, you see something even better. Oh man, I wish I would have gotten that. I just didn't know about it back then. So the next step of mastering life is not going after what you know exists. It's leaving yourself open to the right thing for you and to not waste all your energy going after today's hot thing that's out there. Because something better might be being formed right now. Something that is in its infancy. Something that is still in its design stage. It's not mature yet. It's still being made. It's still halfway around the world. But next year, it's going to be the greatest thing ever. And if you buy this year's thing and you spend all your money, you won't be able to get the great thing that was meant for you. That might be coming out next month, next year, in another country, or whatever it is. Just know what's right for you is being made right now. So don't get desperate and go after the first thing that's available that you see with your eyes or that you've been told about. Other people don't know what's right for you. You might not even know. You don't have to know. But you will know when you see it. You will know when it comes across your path. It just might not be when you think it is. Things usually take a little longer than we want, especially if you want it done right. So always keep this in mind. Sure, we want everything right now. Sure, we want the good life. We want everything that is right for us right now. But good things take time. When you order a good meal, it takes time for the chef to prepare it. So always remember, it's better to go through life with the mindset of, I'm open to whatever is right for me, and not having your mind made up based on what you see and know right now. Because you don't know everything. You don't know the great, wonderful, amazing things that are coming out just around the corner. The right person for you, the right calling of life. There is a whole world out there you don't even know about yet. So don't go crazy over a few little metaphoric gold coins when you have an entire world of undiscovered treasure just waiting to be discovered just around the corner of your life. <laughs>